Well, hello. This is the final boss, and this is Mr. Boom's Firework Factory. It tells me to click the mouse to start, and the music's gonna start, so be ready. I probably should be. <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> or at least lower the volume for you poor souls on stream. Um, because that is some intense music sound options. Wow. Music volume. Wow. Wow. Uh, everything's tuned pretty high, so I'm gonna... Sound quality. I'll, I'll leave that high. I think I want good quality sound, right? Alright. I kind of want to, like, read the settings, but I'll get right in. Play tutorial. You know, that's good. Welcome to our intern program. Our training environment, <laughs> the Explode 2000 training system, will get you ready to work in our factory within minutes. Good luck, and remember, successful interns will be employed full-time in the factory. Uh, I like the art. Um, I think the audio reverbs turned up a little bit too high. It sounds like this guy's in, like, a humongous cave. Uh, and then I would say, like, uh, like, I think this intro narrative is is fine. It's, like, dialogue, but... Again, and this happens a lot with games, it's pretty explanatory, and I think you could communicate a lot of this more subtle, with more subtlety. So, I would encourage you to t take a look at it. Get the crates from the machines to exit in the correct order. Machines produce crates will flash before a crate appears. The machine on the left is flashing now, so a crate is about to appear. Use WST clears to move the camera. Okay. Use the mouse to click on a junction. Turn right junction left. Left click, turn right right. Right click. Okay. You know you can click the other mouse button if you want to turn the other way, right? Now the crate can move to the exit. Crates must be sent to the exit in the order shown in the pick area at the bottom. Oh my gosh, a sorting game. Whew. This, uh, crates, I think I'm going to die. Uh, well, luckily, this might not be a very long playthrough because uh, at this hour, a sorting game might be a little bit too much. Wait for the exit. Grab claw, lift them off. Do not let other crates hit the one while waiting to be taken away. Okay. Next. Nice job. Welcome to the firework factory. I'm your new boss, Mr. Boom. This is your first day, <laughs> so I will start off slow. We wouldn't want any accidents. Simply move those firework crates to the exit. I do like the voice, though. Be very careful not Mr. Boom. Say this volatile. <laughs> okay. So, crates come out of the machines in the order shown on the next list. Pick crates must arrive at the exit in the order shown on the pick list. Okay. So I need to get the fire there first. So they're in order, and I need to cycle one around a little bit. Um. I think I got that right. Oh, that was a little mind building. Eh, we all played Pipe Dream as a kid. Nice job. Three crates saved. Yay. I'm an intern. <laughs> choose a box to see what you've won. Oh, choose a box. I like that. What about this one in the back with like a laser on it? I'm fixing to teach you a lesson. If you don't get it. Because you have shown some skill in my factory, I have decided to promote you to handling more. So he's fixing to teach me a lesson? Be very careful not to break them. This stock is extremely expensive, and I'm trusting you to do a good job. All right, so fire, it needs to be an exclamation point first. So this one's coming with that next. So I'll just have this going back and forth. This one needs to go. Oh shit! Talk a mushroom. <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, why did that one just blow up? Really? What am I paying you for? Because you have shown some skill in my factory, <laughs> I have decided to promote you to handling more dangerous fire. <laughs> it doesn't want me to replay. Be careful not to break it. This stock. Oh, it is replaying it. That was just the dialogue thing for that. Okay, so this... Holy mecca frickin' Roni, man. Oh, no! Oh, no, no! That's 
coming out of your wages. Boom! This is crazy. <laughs> what? A bot? Like, how did it just blow up coming out of there? Because you have shown some skill in my. I am. Woo! So that needs to go straight down. This one needs to kind of go back. You know, I'm gonna go like this, and then we're gonna go like this. And then we're going to go like that. We'll just get that one in a loop. And then we'll get this one going this way. Well done. Oh my gosh. Incorrect clay! Oh, come on! That's okay, but I think you can do better. <laughs> because you have shown some Oh, I know. I've shown some great skill. Alright, at least you can kind of, like, plan. <laughs> Holy gracious to Betsy, man. Alright, this one needs to go that way and down. And that needs to go that way. Okay, <laughs> I think I got it. That needs to go in circles for a little bit. <laughs> wow. Ah! That was so close! <laughs> oh my god, emergency stop. Can I actually press emergency stop? Will it stop? Nice job. I don't think so. I don't it's think so. To see what you want. Will you yell at me again? Next time. <laughs> the room I'm sending you to is a little bit of a mess. It's really messing with my profits. And if there's one thing I hate, it's losing money. Please I get it. Be careful not to disturb the mess when working in here. Some of it is highly combustible. Uh, okay. Um, I need to get... Where's the exit? I don't even see where the exit is. Can I move this? I'm pressing emergency stop. No, no, no. Oh. Well, I couldn't even... Get this right. I'm fixing to really teach you a lesson! You for. The room I'm sending you. Okay. Oh, I cannot even see that. That's pretty tough. Yeah, I feel like not that. That's a little cringe. I don't even know where the exit is, though. Boom. Oh no! I think I got it this time, though. Really? I like the way he gets like stoked. He's like, "Boom, baby!" So that needs to go. One, two, this needs to go one, two, and this needs to go, oh, please don't, and so this needs to go straight across, and then that goes up and down, what the frick, I said that way, left, the room I know, clicking mouse to continue, I got it, uh, gosh, come on, let me grab it. So I just need to do one more left click on that and I'm good. The music's fun though. Hey, that was not insured. What? Really? The room I'm sending you I got the crate in the right place! Alright, so I think I need to bounce it between these two. Uh, this needs to go this. Dun, 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 dun. And this needs to go twice. Okay. Wow. Okay, now where is the freaking exclamation point? Oh, it's there now? That is so silly. Okay, so I guess that was where the exit. I just didn't see it. All right. Nice job, <laughs> Mr. Boom, baby. Choose a box to see what you want. Ranch. <laughs> the machines in this room are a little <laughs> what? old. Old rusty. Things always go wrong. Ranch. I've got several employees in here already. I'm not quite sure how many, as I'm still trying to find the parts. Oh Just my God. Just be careful not to ruin any of my precious stock. That's all that matters. You hear? <laughs> Reverb is still pretty gnarly. Hold up. The machines here get a bit cranky. Give them a good seeing to it. The wrench power up. 
I have glue. I don't know what glue is supposed to do. Click on the machine level to power it up. Okay, can I like clean up the mess? Oh, I have to click to clean up? I right, well. What? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> way to go. That's okay, but I think you can do better. <laughs> the machines in this room are Okay, so I need to like use my wrench power up. Well, where are they supposed to go? How do I clear? How do I clear this stuff out? What the heck do they want me to do? All right, I did it. What in the blue blazes? What in the blue? Can I WASD to move around? How do I even like see different That's parts? Okay, but I think you can do better. The machines in this. Okay. Wow, I really zoomed into like what? What? The fridge? Oh, I guess I can. This is. Amazing, but it makes no sense. I don't even know how I would suspend them. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. This game's a little Cocoa Pebbles. This game's a little Cocoa Pebbles. Okay. Okay. So what are my thoughts? Um, granted, I am not a packing game person, so I might be a little biased. Um, so I'm going to try to account for that bias in the way I review this game. But I might not be perfect. So if this was me finding this game fully released in a store, um, I would probably rate it differently. I do believe this is a demo, or at least very much feels like a demo, so I'm going to rate it a little bit more forgivingly. But I would still say this game, uh, in terms of polish, and in terms of a lot of these things, is probably coming in at around a 4 out of 10. Some of the reasons is, um, I mean, I did like the humor, I love the art, and I like the fireworks. Um, it's just so punishing, and it seems to be more about just memorizing the order of things I need to put in than, you know, actually something that I would do live the first time. So I don't know if that's how puzzle games work. Are supposed to be like this where you just play through them a bunch and you eventually get the little pattern down um, but that to me doesn't feel as interesting as being able to make some on the fly decision making being able to see oh i need to make this quick connection we never really got there with the mechanics it was always you know try it a few times memorize and then move from there I, and in the tutorial i i don't know how i would have done that level differently or what i needed to do to like make the order change like it was i my mind was totally blown there um, so again, um, it doesn't feel like I'm getting tutorial. I, I'm, I'm, you know, like for some degree, I'm having trouble making it through your tutorial, which is something that should be a pretty big flag. And hopefully, you know, you're, you're still in development and you're working on this and that will hopefully give you that, that insight, right? And saying, Hey, why is, you know, and, and take it from me, I'm really dumb. So I may have just like missed something really obvious, totally valid, but chances are there might be some other dumb folks like me out there who will want to try and buy your game and maybe this will make it easier. Uh, are hopefully better. But yeah, overall, I like the uh, tone and the kind of the silly, you know, dialogue. Uh, obviously, I think just on a writing level, there are ways to improve the dialogue. But I honestly think that's the strongest point of the game right now is like just like the the cool boss guy who's blinking and looks so evil. And 
um, you know, has this kind of, you know, I'm still picking up pieces of employees, which is pretty morbid, but, but kind of like funny. And it's a line I haven't seen in a lot of games. So, you know, it's unique that I feel like this firework factory vibe, that narrative is what's making this separated and a little bit different. Uh, a lot of the um, execution parts of like a shipping pack boxes uh, feels pretty similar to a lot of other packing shipping games I've seen. Uh, I like that you have these power-ups. I think that's a little bit un distinctive. Um, but yeah, overall, um, I think the puzzle design is still at a place where it feels like I just have to sit and memorize it. And it's all moving so fast that unless I sit and memorize it, I'm not able to you know, complete it on a first try, which is especially in a tutorial level, something that you know feels bad not to be able to do. Uh, and so yeah, I think cool demo. I think my my overall rating is about a four out of ten so far. But I think this has potential. I really you know developer, if you want to send me another build, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to take a look at it. And uh, good luck with your development. I think this is a cool project, and I'm excited to see how it evolves.